coronavirus is a virulent virus, right? It's a little more uh, contagious. It's a little more virulent, which means it's going to affect people more strongly than a seasonal flu. But who is it affecting? It's affecting the people in the population who have a weakened immune system. Generally, it's affecting the elderly and the frail. And we all know people in our lives who are going to be a little bit affected by this virus, who may be at risk of being harmed by the virus. But the conversation for me has been a little bit misguided. I don't like that the conversation is so much about hysteria and fear and powerlessness. That doesn't really feel good as a human. That just feels like scary. And it, it really paralyzes us as a human people. That's not what I want to see. You know, as a physician, I want to try and help shift the conversation to empower people to understand that we have power over the illnesses, the infectious diseases that we are going to experience for the rest of our lives on this planet. Coronavirus is not the first, it's not the last. You know, we've had H1N1 flu, we've had bird flu, we've had Zika, we've had MRSA, MRSA's methicillin resistant Staph aureus. And what do we know about all of these infectious illnesses? Some of them are viruses, some of them are bacteria. What do we know about all of them? It's all about how healthy we are as people, right? It's all about how healthy I am as a human and whether I am strong enough from an immunologic perspective to withstand the disease. The take home message is that it's more about, it's so much more about how healthy we are as humans, how robust, how many swords and spears and how much armor our immune system has rather than the strength of any particular virus or bacteria.